one we have is another recorded talk. This one is from Intel and it's going to be Megni from Intel. She's going to talk about the Intel Neural Compressor. Hello everyone. My name is Mengni Wang. I'm a software engineer from Intel, focusing on Intel Neural Compressor development. Today, I'm very glad to take this opportunity to introduce our joint work with Microsoft about Intel quantization for large language models with Intel Neural Compressor. During past few years, a range of breakthroughs have appeared in many fields like text analysis, language translation, and chatbot technologies with the explosive growth of AI. During this period, large language models have played an important role. However, from BERT to GPT models, they become more and more powerful but at the same time, they, uh, their model size also becomes larger and larger, which brings some challenges for production usage. For example, it is uh, impractical to run on commodity hardware and some con general quantization recipes may not work for large language models. For large language models with uh, huge parameters, the systematic outliers make quantization of activations difficult. Smooth quantum offline migrates this difficulty from activations to weights. And uh, Intel Neural Compressor in integrates this uh, algorithm to benefit uh, Intel quantization. Further, we also enhance this algorithm from three points. First, we expand the applicability of smooth quant for Onyx, Gem, Matmo, and Conv operators. Second, we product smooth quant in Onyx runtime through Intel Neural Compressor. And last, we support automatic OPYs smoothing alpha turning so it can find optimal alpha value automatically. Currently, this algorithm and its enhancements have, have, um, have been integrated into Onyx Runtime and uh, Microsoft uh, Olive projects. To meet users' demands of higher accuracy, lower in inference latency and ease of deployment for those models. We keep making contributions to Onyx community, including model upstream and model conversion. Currently, we support FP32 and int 8 model conversion from other frameworks to Onyx format. It can achieve higher applicability and expand quantization capabilities. For example, it can expand the PyTorch quantization aware training capabilities to Onyx. We also keep submitting int 8 models to public repos like Onyx Model Zoo and Hugging Face. We have submitted 39 int 8 models to Onyx Model Zoo and uh, assorted intake models as well as uh, two large language models to hugging face so far. Um, we have validated our quantization recipes uh, for uh, large language models on these uh, four models and uh, all of them can get uh, less than 1% accuracy drop with better performance. Um, you can get these models or their quantization recipes from these uh, public links. Um, currently, we have made some contributions to Onyx community, but there is still much work to be done, and we will struggle for it. Um, we will continue upstream more Onyx Intuit models, including popular large language models, 
to make users uh, easy to reach and uh, make use of them. In addition to this, we are also exploring low-bit weight-only composition for large and small model compressions into Onyx runtime with the neural compressor to benefit the composition of more models. That's all. Thank you for your attention. So it's 2 a.m. for the speaker's time, so she would she wasn't able to attend. So I can take some questions. I can try to, and if not, I'll take uh, take it offline with some of you. If you have any questions around neural compressor and low precision. So is it only for quantization, or are you also supporting other optimizations like It does support sparsity also, uh, both uh, structured and unstructured. Okay. All of that is available under. How it's intended to be used? Yes, so it's also it is also available under Olive. It's also available in uh, uh, the Optimum library from Hugging Face. It's also a standalone tool that you can go into, uh, and and uh, there will be other ways for other uh, other companies to contribute to Neural Compressor too, which we'll be talking in in few weeks time. Go for it. What do you mean by structural sparsity? Does it imply that uh, the data should be rearranged in a certain pattern? Yeah, so you, if you have like a four by two or some kind of a matrix around it, uh, you could be able to do that. Okay, I think we're running out of time, so I'll switch over to the next. Oh, yeah, so I, I guess the question was, the first question was around supporting, uh, does neural compressor support sparsity? And which I said, yes, it does. And the other question was around what kind of sparsity are we talking, structured sparsity about, I was talking about. So it's pattern based. So it has all the, uh, you know, most of the NVIDIA hardware, whatever that it supports, it supports it. And if you have any custom ones, there are ways to specify those two. There's another question. Go for it. I, I, I saw uh, it's also supporting quantization aware training. So I suppose this is going to go through the Onyx training framework inside of the Olive. Yeah, so it supports QAT, not through Olive, but it's a standalone tool also. Uh, neural compressor does, so you you have a PyTorch extension to uh, to be able to do QAT for with it. But that's that was not starting from Onyx, right? Uh, no, it wouldn't be. Mm -hmm. so you need a source model in the source framework. It supports uh, other ecosystems too, in that sense. I have a question. Uh, sorry, the, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so about the smooth quant. Uh, smooth quant will be represented itself in the Onyx graph in some way, or it's going to be represented in Onyx runtime? How how it's supposed to work? I think that is a question I don't have an answer for. The question was around smooth quant and how, how it would be represented in it. It's a very recent addition to the tool. I'll, I, I can get, if you can uh, talk to me offline, I can get you the answer. Any Anything else? All right, I, I've managed it, okay. 